So I told you to go on my YouTube to get part two, right? But I don't even have a thousand subscribers on my YouTube, so I can't even go live. I got to go upstairs in the computer, set up, and I know, like, you know, the message ain't going to flow like it's supposed to. If I go upstairs, got to go on the computer, I'm going to get distracted. So I'm just trying to give y'all this right here, like I promised, because this information got to get out. I see you, Crispy. Yes, thanks for joining. Just um, comment below. Let us know where you're listening from. All right? So part two, here it is. We talked about... Steps to build your steps to build self esteem in your children. Okay, part two. All right, so here's part two support and empower. Support your child and empower them. So, what, you, what do I mean by support them? Support the decisions they make in the positive direction. So, we talked about earlier about appearance, poor appearance, and taking them to the store and taking them different places and picking out clothes with them. Support their new choices. As long as they're new choices, it's not bad choices. You get what I'm saying? We all gonna have a learning curve. We all are gonna experience things differently and be different. All right. So uh, support your children in the change that they're making in a positive way. Okay. Positive support. You get what I'm saying? Positive support. All right. Empower them. Teach them how to make these decisions for themselves. You know, there was a an old parable that would say. Um, something about not fishing for somebody, but teaching them how to fish. Y'all know what I'm talking about. So I'm teach them how to fish. Okay, empower them, give them the power to be better. Okay, next, make it up, make up a new whatever. As long as it ain't ne and it ain't negative, it don't got to be exactly what I'm talking about. These steps, but make it up, make it up. If it doesn't exist, make it up. That's the power of the mind, the mental. Get in the mindset that you, you can do anything. Get your children in the mindset that they can do anything. So they're like, hey, hey, mom, hey, dad, what's the next step? I know I made that voice. My bad. Okay, you tell me what you think the next step is. What, what do you want to do next? You see what I'm saying? What do you think is a positive thing? And they kind of reinforce that. And if it's, you know, an idea that may not be as positive or, you know, as great, Hey, what about this? What do you think about this? You see what I'm saying? All right, so we got support and empower. Make it up. And when I say make it up, I don't mean just make anything up. Come on, parents. You know what I mean? Walk with me. You know, Brother Polite, you say that all the time. Um, next, don't give up. Just because your kid may catch on quickly and they may be doing what they're supposed to do or they, they get they out the rut of um, low self-esteem, don't just give up. Oh, they, they're great. I'm, I'm good now. I'm off duty. No, you ain't never off duty as a parent. You see what I'm saying? Check in. Don't be no helicopter parent all the time where you hovering around. Oh, I'm just checking in. I'm just checking in. What you doing? What you doing? What you doing? Give them some room. Some room to grow. Okay? Check in periodically. Okay? But don't give up on them. Even if you think they got it, still do not give up. Still check in. Most importantly, last but not least, okay? Last but not least, you have to believe it. You have to believe, you have to believe what you're telling your children, what you're teaching them, that number one is the right thing. And number two, believe in them that they are doing it. They will do it. You understand what I'm saying? Believe that they will do it. Give them the confidence. I see you. Thanks for dropping in. Yes, sir. Big ups. I see you. Yes. Okay. Um, believe in them. Put the belief in them. Make them feel the belief from you. How can somebody feel the belief in me? Okay, cool. I'm, I'm going to give y'all an example, okay? You ever have somebody walk past you or you in the same room or area with someone? and they, Or you on the train. That's good. You in the train station or the train or a bus or public transportation with someone or Uber or whatever. And that person just give you like a, a bad vibe. Like, mm, mm, I don't know about that. And you got some people that, you know, oh, I got a good vibe for him. And y'all just be talking, you talking to strangers. Y'all might just be talking about cars. My dad do that a lot. He loves cars. So he'll talk to anybody about some cars. You know what I mean? Big up to big up, big up to my dad. You know, so, you know, you'll see somebody with a nice ride, nice motorcycle. He loves motorcycles. You know, hey, how you doing? I like your bike. You know, start off just like that. Okay? Make them feel that vibe. So when he goes and talks to someone about the bike, 
And I like that bike. That's a Harley such and such. They're like, yeah, that's a Harley such and such. Yeah, mm-hmm. I like them double pipes. And I don't know nothing about bikes, so I'm just making stuff up as I go. You see what I'm saying? So, uh, you know, he'll just strike up a conversation. And that person is inviting him to come over. Yeah, let me show you this right here. Let me show you the little bag over here. This is not the leather thing. I got the cell phone holder. I got this. And oh, for real, for real, that's nice. Where you got that from, bro? Yes. And my, my dad don't care about if you black or white, pink, yellow, orange, red. You got a nice bike, he going to compliment you. You see what I'm saying? You got a nice car, he going he gonna to give you your, your props. Hey, bro, I like that car. I like that. I see the work you got on there. Yes. Okay. Where you get that done from, bro? All right. Nice, 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 nice. And the reason why he asks, because he gets work on his cars, too. Or he'll go and see um, how to do it. Okay. But my whole point of this is the aura. You can feel the person's aura, okay, when they come close to you. So can your child feel the aura of belief from you? Does my dad really believe in me? Does my mom really believe in me? You see what I'm saying? So whatever you need to do to make your kids feel the belief in you, even if you, even if they disappoint you, they're children. There's going to be some type of disappointment sometime, Okay. But it's not about the fall. It's about the how you get up. Come on, somebody. You know they say that in church, right? Come on, somebody. All right? It's about how you get up. So can they feel the belief from you? Can, does my dad really believe in me? Does my mom? Yeah, my kids be like, yeah, my dad believe in me. You see what I'm saying? And then sometimes it's hard to believe in your kids sometimes. You know what I mean? Yeah, it's difficult sometimes. I'm being real. Keep it real as a parent. Yeah. Come on over. Come on. Come on. I got to go somewhere. All right. <laughs> um, belief. You know, I, and I tell my kids, yeah, I believe in you. And then sometimes I'll be like, you know what? It's a little suspect. But you know what? If you say you're going to do it, I believe you're going to do it. I believe in you. You see what I'm saying? Do that. So that's the, that's the, that's the part two, the four steps, the four additional steps I promised you. Support and empower your child. Okay, make it up, make up a plan with them. Let them be a part of it. It don't have to be something set in stone. Okay, just make up a new plan. Don't give up and check in. And last but not least, last but not least, believe in them. Believe it. Believe what you're saying to them. Let them feel the belief in you. Father, the six, I let your boy comment below. Let us know what you think. You think I'm right or you think I'm wrong? You want to add some steps in there? Shoot, add it on in there. You want to join the live and tell us what you think? Join the live. Y'all yeah, be on here every day, Monday through Friday, um, noon. Noon. Monday through Friday, noon. Instagram, I said it. That's right. Now I'm holding myself to it. And I know you will hold me too also. All right? So for the whole month of August, that's what I'm going to get myself out. I'm going to just say for August, okay? We're going to see how it go. For the whole month of August, I will be on live Monday through Friday, noon. Okay? I said I like an appointment or something. You get it? So this is my job. All right? What's, what's up? What's up? What's up? I think you're right. I appreciate that. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Big ups to Lil Side 4K. You know what I mean? He's going to make a rap song for a Father the Six for my intro so I can come in with the style. You know what I mean? <laughs> All right. So that's my part two. And part three. I got a part three. You got a part three? Dang, you got a lot. Yes, I'm long-winded. I got a lot of knowledge to share. And the part three is about the parents. Ooh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Now y'all want to get off now. I'm talking about you. <laughs> you know how it be. You know how mom dukes bring something up, like, you know, you're, you're young the, sis, the siblings, and they tell the siblings, hey, you ain't do this and you ain't do that. You know, you like, let me squeeze up out of here before I get in trouble. So, yeah, I'm talking about part three. Part three is the parents. Okay? And I'm going to go into it right now. Shoot, why not? You know what I mean? Why not? Part three. So, my original post was, I posted in um, my Instagram, self-esteem. What is self-esteem? Self-esteem is confidence. Confidence in one's own worth or abilities. Self-respect. How do you contribute to your child's self-esteem? And then my next one was, how do you contribute to your own self-esteem? And here's the, here's the steps that we talked about, okay? We talked about step one, identify the signs. Step two, 
Step two, change the direction. Step three, change your thinking. Okay, the next step, step four, support and empower them. Step five, make it up. Make up a new plan. Don't have to be a plan that somebody else already else had, somebody else already had. Step six, don't give up and check in. Step seven, believe it. And now this is part three. We're going to flip the script because we talked about flipping. You know what I mean? Flipping is the most essential part of the hustling life. You know what I mean? Y'all know what I'm talking about when I say the hustling life. Okay? And I'm not only talking about the bad stuff. I'm talking about the good stuff. You, you see what I'm saying? For business owners. You're starting off and you're trying to flip it. That means double the profits. Come on. Come on, somebody. I'm talking about doubling profits. Okay? Not the other stuff. All right? So let's flip it on to the parents. Because as a parent, we go through a whole lot. You see what I'm saying? We got to be strong. Not only for ourselves, but we got to be strong for those who are watching us, which is our children. You see what I'm saying? Our spouse, if we have one. Our girlfriend, boyfriend, whoever you, whatever you rocking with. You see what I'm saying? So part two is about the parents. So, you know, how are you contributing to your own self-esteem? You know, maybe some, some of you haven't really focused on yourself. You've just been so focused on your, your child. And, uh, you know, it's, it, it gets like that sometimes. It gets like that sometimes where you just so laser focused called tunnel vision, you know, on your children and not yourself. And next thing you know, you're like, dang, how I get like this? What the? I ain't shaved in like 17 years? I'm just joking. You know what I mean? But you, you, you get what I'm saying. So, parents, what can we do to build up our self-esteem so that way we can be the example for our children? I'm going to flip the steps on you right now. And I'm going to be real quick with it because you know I'm long-winded, like I said. Okay? One, identify the signs. If you find yourself not Keeping your hygiene where it needs to be at. You skipping showers and you taking showers every other day. You know what I mean? It's COVID. I ain't going nowhere. I'm saving money. Come on now. It's unacceptable. All right? Poor appearance. You just running errands and you just looking like anything. And I'm not telling you dress for success, but if you want your child to have a good appearance, you have to show them what a good appearance look like. And I'm not talking about being Gucci'd up from the socks. Gucci down to the socks. Rest in peace, big. You know what I mean? I'm not talking about that. I'm talking about presentable, okay? And, and presentable don't mean that you don't have on sweats or shorts or flip-flops, but you you, you, know, you know what I mean, okay? All right, step one, identify the signs, okay? Your hygiene, your appearance, okay? You, you're smoking a little bit too much weed, you know what I mean? And it's interfering with your duties. You're doing a little bit too much extracurricular activities, whatever your extracurricular is, Okay? You're doing too much of it, and it's interfering with your, with you, and your duties. Okay, all right. Um, step two. Once you identify the stuff, you see that you, and it's gonna, you might be in the denial. Like oh, that's not me. I'm good. I don't know what he's talking about. Okay. All right. Let me come in a little closer. Okay. I don't know what he's talking about. You know, no, 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 no. You know exactly what I'm talking about. Because that inkling inside you, inkling, you know, that little inkling, the little tiny voice like, yo, bro, he talking about you, bro. If you're feeling guilty and you're feeling like I'm talking about you, then I am talking about you. Okay, it's called conviction. You're feeling convicted. All right. So change the direction. That's step two. Change the direction. Change your course. Okay, where you going? Put a different destination in the GPS. You see what I'm saying? Maybe you ever, you ever put something in the GPS and it's the wrong freaking address? I've done that before. I'm guilty. <laughs> I, you know, I'm like, dang, that's the wrong place I'm supposed to be going. It's supposed to be 271, not not 721. You, you see what I'm saying? Cool. Change the direction. Whatever you're doing, do the opposite now. So you ain't taking showers. Every, you're not taking showers every day. And I'm just using shower for an example. Okay, an example. Okay, hygiene. Okay, Incre in increase your hygiene. Make your hygiene fun. You know, you're a guy, you know what I mean? Spend a little extra bread on your soap. You know what I mean? Just just do things to make yourself want to be better in the area that you may be lacking in. Your appearance, I'm not saying you got to go get the Jordan, you got to go get this. No. Get something that's well put together. Well put together meaning it's clean. Okay? It's clean and it looks decent. It could be something from Walmart. It could be something from Amazon. And matter of fact, big ups to Amazon. They got these these sneakers. Um, they look fire. I don't even know the name of them called. But anyway, change your direction. Whatever you're doing that you was whatever you was doing 
that's not right or got you in the downward spiral, got you in the in the in the in the in the slums, got you down in the valley. Okay, how are we gonna climb back up? Let's start doing the opposite. Cool. Motivate yourself. Okay. Whatever you need to do to motivate yourself, do that. If it's coming on a father to six, holler. Listening to me motivate you. Okay. Make sure you got that bell icon on there. Make sure you subscribe to my YouTube. You see what I'm saying? So that way I can give you this motivation to get you out that rut. That's what we're here for, to help one another out. Step three, parents. Change your thinking. Okay? I heard something, somebody say this. As a man thinketh, so he be. Something like that. You know what I'm talking about. Right? So what are you thinking? What's going on? What's going in your ear to your mind? What's going in your eyes up to your brain? You see what I'm saying? What are you taking in? So whatever you take in is what you think. So change your thinking. You listen to depressing music all the time. You're going to be depressed. You watch depressing stuff all the time. You're going to be depressed. Okay? You watching all these shows talking about divorce and fighting. Bad Girls Club. And I know it's entertaining. But if you constantly see that your subconscious is soaking it in. And that's how you view yourself subconsciously. That's all you're hearing. Nah, that's not me. That's not me. Cool. Then I'm not talking to you. But I'm talking to the ones you know I'm talking to. If you feel like I'm talking about you, you feel convicted, I'm talking about you. Your soul talking back to you. Like, yeah, that's me. That's me. That's why I feel guilty. I live by a private airstrip. Yes, I do. I need to get it. I need to have somebody fly me around. Cause they got they, it's nice out here. They got their planes. Let me see if I can um flip the script over here with, with this real quick. Yeah. It just took off. Well, they about to land. The wheels is down? Yeah, the wheels is down there. Okay. Alright. So motivate yourself. Change your thinking. What are you thinking? Get that stuff out your head, that poison. And I'm not saying don't listen to no type of music or whatever, but shoot, you may have to take a break from it to get a reset. You know what I mean? I love me some some ride or die, you know what I mean? The locks. I love my hardcore hip hop. I love it. Love it. But it's times where I gotta take a break from it. Because I can't always be in the killer mentality, you know what I mean? You know what I mean? I might end up really killing somebody for instead of bopping my head. I gotta take a break from it sometimes. You know what I mean? Just like your favorite foods. You know, I love some mac and cheese, especially when it's creamy and cheesy. Yes, sir. But I can't eat that, that stuff all the time because I'll gain 55 pounds back. Yes, sir. I did lose 55 pounds. Yeah. Call at your boy. Yep. Still losing. You know what I mean? Trying to get fit for the missus, wherever she at. I'm single. So, you know, Holly, if you see this and you, you know, you feel you digging me, hit me in the DM. Serious inquiries only. Ha ha ha. But anyway. Was I at? Change your thinking. Change your thinking. Okay? Start listening and intaking good and positive things. And I'm not saying just knock everything out all at one time. It's a process. So instead of watching, you know, Bad Girls Club and all this other stuff for four hours, you know, I'm just going to watch three hours and I'm going to take one hour to find something positive, like Father to Six, because I know he uploading every day. You see what I'm saying? Cool. Prepare yourself for the bad thoughts to come in. <laughs> this is not working. No, nah, this is not working. He don't know what he's talking about. He's not even a licensed counselor. He don't have no PhD. Who is he to tell me what I am? Like, hey, bro, I appreciate you. You know, I appreciate you, bro, but you you don't know me. You don't know my circumstances. You know what I mean? You Who you judging? All right, bro. Cool. Cool. That's the, that's the thoughts that's coming in your head because you know what I'm telling you is positive. I'm not coming at your neck, bro, sis. I'm not coming at your neck, sis. I'm coming with love. Father the Six is about love. The general, the G-Man, the general, it's about love. Not about hate or breaking down. I'm about building up. Let's, let's build up. Higher, higher. Higher, 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 higher. July, I see you. Welcome in. Um, so, yeah. So, when those bad thoughts in, know how to, how to combat those, how to fight those, get them hand skills up. How do I fight the bad thoughts? You replace them with good. Okay? Start writing good things about you, about yourself. Okay, you don't got a book, get a piece of paper. You don't got a piece of paper, get a freaking piece of mail, right on the back of the mail. You know what I mean? And start writing good stuff about yourself, and put it somewhere where you can see. And every time you pass it, read it out loud. You know, 
I'm the best father that my kids can ever have. I'm the best father for my kids. I'm the best man for me. I'm getting better and better every day. You know what I mean? Ain't nobody can top this. You know what I mean? Start freestyling on yourself. You know what I mean? Cool. So that way, the more you freestyle on yourself, the more you put into yourself, okay, the more you replace those negative thoughts. You see what I'm saying? Don't be a pack rat. Don't be a hoarder. What you mean, don't be a pack rat and a hoarder? Don't hoard them negative thoughts. Get rid of that crap. You know what I mean? Get that crap out your garage, out your dome. You know what I mean? Get rid of the negative stuff. <clears throat> All right. Next, support and empower. Okay? Sometimes it's hard to support yourself when you're in a, in a rut. When I say support yourself, it's hard to really encourage yourself all the time. So find a support group. Father to six. Find a support group. Father to six. The fatherhood. Okay? Type in hashtag fatherhood. There's so many fatherhood influencers out there. They'd be more than happy to give you a dose of motivation. You see what I'm saying? You don't want to hear me no more? Talk along with it? Go, go to my, my homeboy. Fatherhood fraternity. Go to him. You know what I mean? Go to my other other ones that I'm following. Look on my IG page and see all the other fatherhood the fatherhood um, uh, influencers that I'm following. Okay? Because they might have a different style that they can relate to you. I can't relate to everyone. Everyone can't relate to me. You see what I'm saying? So go ahead and find that support group. Okay? Start doing things to empower yourself. Make steps to give yourself the power to take back over. Battery running low. Um... Recharge your battery. You see that? My battery running low. Plug yourself back in. Plugging yourself back in to recharge your battery could be that support. You know what I mean? It could be a support group. It could be your family. It could be your friends. You see what I'm saying? Somebody that's trusted. And if you don't know you can trust them, feel your vibe. That vibe can tell you you can trust someone. Your intuition. You see what I'm saying? Like I'm talking right now and I'm giving y'all some gems right now. You know that what I'm saying that I'm passionate about it. As you can feel this passion, I believe you can feel genuine genuine feelings from other people, genuine, the genuine aura from other people. Okay. Next, it don't have to be a, oh, I got to do this and I got to do that. And I got to do this. This is a guide to success, a guide to build. And a guide is open to interpretation. A guide just tells you the direction. Okay. Go North. We ain't telling you turn, take, go North three minutes and then turn. No, it's a guide. Just go North. Okay. Northwest, north, north, excuse me, northwest, northeast, go north, okay? That means make it up as you go sometimes. You may not have all the answers. Make that make that join up. You know what I mean? You know what? All right, this is what I'm going to do next right here. I'm going to just motivate myself by, shoot, I'm going to treat myself to something healthy, okay? All right, next. Uh, don't give up. Don't give up. It's going to, it may be challenging. No, it will be challenging. Don't give up, parents. Don't give up on yourself because if you're giving up on yourself, your children is watching you give up on you. So that's that's what they're going to learn when they get your age or if not sooner. I'm just going to give up on myself. My mama, my dad, they, they give up on themselves. So, shoot, I'm going to just do the same. No. One thing I learned in the Marine Corps is failure is not an option. Every mission is successful and will be successful. They freaking dr drilled it. They drilled it in our head. Mission accomplishment. At least when I was coming in the Marine Corps. You see what I'm saying? There ain't no such thing as failing. Marines always, always come back with mission accomplished. You understand what I'm saying? We didn't even know. We, I'm telling you. At least in the battalions I was in, the companies I was in, we were, ain't no failing. You understand what I'm saying? Cool. And we ain't cheating either. The mentality was failure is not an option. There is no failure. There was no word for failure because we don't fail. You get what I'm saying? So do you have the mentality of failure not an option with yourself and your kids? Deep. You see what I'm saying? Remove the word failure from your dictionary, from your word bank. You know what I mean? And replace it with success. Success only. You know what? Everyone fails here and there, General. You know, everybody everybody ain't like you. You know what I mean? Well, I'm not someone who get things done on the first time all the time. You see what I'm saying? I had my first kid when I was 16, 17 years old. You know what I mean? 
I didn't have it right the first time. Then I had my next kid at like 18. You, you see what I'm saying? So when I say that is, you may have a, a setback, but a setback isn't a failure. Come on. You may have a setback, but a setback is not a failure. It's a learning experience. So during that experience of a setback, what did you learn? And how will you apply it later? So don't give up on yourself. And then check then check in, check in with yourself too. You know what I mean? Have accountability account have an accountability partner. Have someone to check in up on you. That you know they're gonna check up on you. You see what I'm saying? We all got that one friend or family member. All right, now you told me to check up on you. How you doing now? If it, that's if that's what it, if that's what it takes to get you back on track, why not? Some people are simple enough. I'm gonna just set an alarm for myself. Or why don't you make a video for yourself? Like I'm making a video right now, and then you set that video to um to look at it at a certain time. Hey, hey, how you doing now? These are the problems that we had. How we doing? Uh, give me an update. You see what I'm saying? Update yourself. If that's what, if, if you got nobody else, give it a give it a give it a support group. And most of all, believe in yourself. That's right, I said it. Believe in yourself. What does it mean to believe in yourself? Believe that you can do it. No matter what. And you know what? Sometimes it's it's difficult because of our circumstances. But all it is is a mind change. Change your daggone mind. Change your thinking. I don't care what my circumstances is, are, was, going to be. You know what? I'm changing this right here. Yeah, I may see all these bills, but you know what? I'm getting out of this. I'm, I'm more than a conqueror. You, you see what I'm saying? I got this. You know what I mean? Yeah, you know what? I I ain't do right by my kids last week, but you know what I'm going to do right this week. This is a new week. I'm going to do better. It's a new day. I'm going to do better today, right now. We all have setbacks, but don't let your setback be a failure. I'm here to motivate you. All right? Cool, cool, cool. So believe in yourself. Father to six. We're on the road to a million. Road to the million is a million subscribers across all platforms. I'm not talking about adding them up. I'm talking about a million on, on YouTube, a million on Twitter, a million on um, Patreon, a million on Instagram, a million on everything. Why do I want to? A road, why are we on the road to a million subscribers? Not for me, okay? But for, for those who don't have these this information that I have, the information that you have, the jewels that you and I have. Imagine if we had a million people talking about fatherhood, a million people talking about family, community, being better. How much better would this world be? So I challenge Oh, snap. Very about to go. So I challenge you, okay? What kind of impact are you going to make? If you don't want to be the one to get on camera, you don't like sending donations out, you know what I mean? You don't want to comment, cool. Share this message to someone. Subscribe. If you don't want to share it, subscribe. Subscribe. Be part of the fatherhood on the road to a million. So that way we can have a million people talking about what we're supposed to be doing. How to do it. Not just the problems, but solutions. From every angle and every walk of life. From every part of this globe, round or flat, however you see it, okay? I want a million people across every platform talking about community, family, okay? Building each other up. You see what I'm saying? Let's get this unity back in this world. All right? It's Father the Six, the General. Holla at your boy. Yes, sir. Till the next time.